Hello and welcome to day four of the boot camp for the May Painting Challenge. Um, the question of the day is easy to get out of the way. It says, what's your favorite snack or drink to have at your table while you work? I don't snack, I don't eat while I work with painting. That's would be very distracting and it would get in the way and stuff would get on my fingers. Not a good idea. I mean, I barely breathe while I'm painting. Anyway, uh, drinking, I, I might need to wet my whistle, so I get some water or some tea or some coffee uh, because those are basically the only things I ever drink. Uh, Non-alcoholic beverages I ever drink. And I'm not going to drink booze while painting. That seems like a horribly bad idea. So, what are we looking at here? You might have noticed that something has changed here. I cut the tab off his feet. I actually tried doing that on camera first, but the angle um, I'm filming this at made that really uh, tricky, difficult, there was a lot of fumbling involved, and I simply scrapped that footage and just did it off camera. The reason um, I cut the tab off is because I'm not going to use the slaughter base. Uh, why am I not going to use the slaughter base? Well, if you try to stand him on it, don't know if you can see. His feet are hanging over the edge. There's no, there's no way to place him so that he's completely on the base, and it just looks weird. So, we have these options. These are our um, Micro Art Studios a resin bases. This one is known as a Dark Temple base, and the other one is a Mosaic base. This is 30 mil, and this is 40 mil. That's composed of the 20, compared to the 25 mil originally. Now, there is a lot of texture on this one, and it is a little difficult to find a place for him to stand, but we can manage it. And you can see that, okay, sure, his his feet overhang the, uh, the sculpted part, but there's a lip to the, to the base, and his feet don't stick out over the lip, at least. So, that's okay. Uh, I could go with this. This on the other, this one provides a lot more area and he, he can simply stand like this on it. And yeah. He looks a bit lonely on it. It is a little bit too large for him. Um, if I go with this one, I feel like I will have to add some scenery to it. Um, stand him like this and have something in front of him. I know, with the traditional warm skulls, weapons, limbs of fallen enemies. I don't know, something. This might... Mm, now that I look at it like this, I, I was originally leaning more towards this one, but mm, I'm not sure anymore. However, this is, is a decision that I can leave until the very last moment. I Because I'm going to be painting the dude up separately, and I can paint both bases up at the same time and then I can decide when everything is finished and all I have left to do is to pin him to the base, then I can make the final decision. So that's, you know, at the very end of the project. Um, well, that's all I have for today. I was just leading you through some of my thought processes. And, uh, well, thank you and signing off.